Okay, further to our introduction to MailerLite, I now want to dive in and show you the ins and outs of creating a newsletter. I'm going to take you behind the scenes, show you the elements of how we put our newsletter together so that you can be putting your newsletter together as well. Newsletters are extremely important to us as business owners. They are one of the two things we own on the internet. Our list is something we should nurture. So when we're putting our newsletters together, we want to make sure that we're following the formula of a newsletter, and there is a course about that one, and diving in and making sure that we have our nice love note, our introduction, and we really do make the best of our opportunity to communicate with our people on a regular basis. Now, how often did you send a newsletter? That is a question that's up to you. We send one weekly here at Enova Group, but we also send updates from Clive and I on a monthly basis. It is purely up to you how often you can do it, but be consistent in whatever you do. So let's dive in now and see how you can send a newsletter with MailerLite. Okay, we're here in MailerLite and it is time to send a newsletter campaign. So let's jump in and get started with sending that newsletter campaign. So we're going to hit the create campaign button over here. I've got the introduction here ready for our newsletter to be sent out. So I'm going to copy and paste and do a number of things along the way to help us get this campaign out. You can do a regular campaign, you can do a split campaign, you can do auto resend campaigns. With our newsletters, I tend to be happy with just a regular campaign. So we're popping our campaign name in here. So the first thing we want to do is personalize it to make sure that we're using our people's names and we're giving that personalization in marketing that people are looking for. We are then going to put our title in from here. And sometimes I just like to change things around a little bit. So I'm just going to grab this out here and go control X and weekly insights and tips for. So now we're actually delivering it right through to the person and then popping in the, what the title of the newsletter is going to be. I was copying this bit out now so that I can pop it in the next stage in the newsletter. In our pre-header here, I'm just going to put, pop in a guide just to help people understand what it is. And then we're selecting our recipients from here. So your recipients come down from your groups and you choose the group that you're going to send to. So we're sending this as end of a group newsletter and we hit the select button from there. We then go into our content. Now, as I mentioned to you before, there are many, many templates that you can use within MailerLite. We've got our templates all set up over here, but if you wanted to start from scratch, you can go through the drag and drop editor and bring in elements that will really help you along the way. Things like RSS feeds, those sorts of things. You can also go to one of your recent emails if you haven't created a template yet, but you know that that email you sent last time worked. So this is our end of a group newsletter. It's created in a template form and we use a number of elements from the MailerLite builder to be able to send this newsletter. And this is one of the best ways I can show you how to put a newsletter together in MailerLite is to actually show you how we do our ones here. So our pre-header information is in here, our title. So you can see we've called this weekly insights and tips. So that's why I don't need to grab that text in here. We then can pop our title in here. So this is our little heading one, gearing up for 2024, a preparation guide. And this is where we put our introduction to our newsletter. You'll notice some of our introductions are quite long. Your introduction to your newsletter needs to be a love letter to your people. And I'm gonna jump in now and grab our one out here and start to put it in. So we've got this drafted up in a Google Doc. And the reason we do is because we can come back and grab them down the track if we need to and repurpose newsletters from other years. So I'm just gonna go Control C and we're going back over here now. We've got our personalization name field in here, very important. We're using a text element inside MailerLite here. So then we can just copy and paste the email campaign copy that we would need to pop in here. Sometimes you'll need to look at your spacing because you can see this one here. We've got massive spacing up here. So we'll pop, fix up the spacing, ready to go. And this is your love letter. This is your introduction. This is the value that people get for signing up for your email list. It's really important not to just make your email list a complete and utter dump of the content that you have from there. You want to give your subscribers something else that comes in through. I don't don't think we need the word conclusion there. So you'll pick those sorts of things up as you go through and you proof your newsletter out as well. And just making sure that the introduction theme works, everything's going through. So that's our first element that we use. So the element up here is a navigation element that we've used. Then we've got our little heading title over here. So we're using compelling headlines and we're using text elements from there. So then we're delving down into further from here and we're looking at impact tips. So this is my impact tip session. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and grab one of the videos from my YouTube channel and make sure that I pop a video in here from me for this campaign. Videos are great because they're a great opportunity to be able to connect with your audience and they're a great opportunity to access another learning style in your newsletter and in your marketing. So I just go to my YouTube channel 
I could most probably pop this in the newsletter outline. It would have made things easier for myself. But I go to the newsletter channel and I grab the show notes that we've got on the video here to make sure that I grab everything that we need to. Um, and this one wasn't a long one, so we're just going to go copy and paste that through. And it's just a little bit of video options for us to be able to connect through to people. Now, we have a button down here. And if we needed it, we were linking through the marketing planner or something like that, we would take it out and we just set the little links up from there. But what we can do is turn that button off. Or I can say, book a discovery call with me because we subtle call to action so our newsletter is good. And then add my booking calendar link. So what we're going to do here is we haven't put the video URL in either, have we, guys? Bear with me. Let's grab the video URL. We need this one that says watch because that's huge for making sure the video comes in. And we hit the little enter button in here and the video will come up. And we're grabbing that video out. So I've got our show notes in there. We're waiting for that video to come up. While we're waiting for that to come up, we will go to the booking calendar and grab my booking calendar link as well. which will come through for the discovery call for that newsletter. So we're in the first stages of getting our newsletter together. There's a few elements that you want to pop in. Come on, YouTube, pop our video in. We'll give it time. We'll let's see how it goes from, from the, here. We'll pop the discovery call link in and we might just need to grab that video link one more time. No, it, tell you as soon as you click off it, it works. Okay, so control A, B. So there's my booking call, calendar button. So the next component we, what we use in here in the elements section is the RSS feed option. So you can see blog and RSS. So you can put in different options from there for people to be able to connect with you. RSS featured article is the one that we use here. Now this is lean, leaning through to my RSS feed, my author feed on our website. So you can see here the RSS feed for my author. So you find your author URL on your website and then you would add the word feed to the end of it. You can choose what things you want to pop in here, whether it's dividers, read more, what you want the link to say, all of those sorts of things. And then you're selecting what you would like to go through to the newsletter for you from this one. So this is my impact tips. Now, further on down the newsletter, we have some stuff in relation to course creation, I believe. So I won't include anything in relation to course creation inside the impact one. This is all about marketing. So I've included the adding instant back to social media. So I don't want to include that as a blog post in the feed here, but I will choose what marketing makes the most impact. I will possibly look at the ones that are relevant, 2 p.m. instead of working in your PJs, how email marketing can help your brand. Is blogging dead with the rise of AI is another one will tick. We could do the creative when you're stuck in a rut, but it's gone out as well. Things to put in your marketing plan for 2024 is related to this newsletter, so very important to pop in there. And then we just go through and we make sure that we've got nothing else. It's an old selection of the feed in our newsletter. So you can choose however many you want going through this process. So if you look now at the feed, we've got what marketing makes the most impact. We've got the articles that I've spoken about, a couple of podcast episodes, things to put in your marketing plan for 2024. So I might take one of these out and most probably because I've got a number of videos, I'm going to take is blogging dead with a rise of AI. So I've got podcast, I've got blog posts, and I've got videos. And I know that because we set different featured images inside of our campaigns. Our upcoming training. So this is the upcoming training that we have available. Now, we do this via RSS feed as well. I don't have a video ready for the first upcoming training for the year. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete that section out. And we're just going to run purely through the RSS feed. So this feed in particular links through to our calendar on our website. I'm just going to jump up and show you here. So webinars and workshops, which is our calendar feed from Enova Group. We're bringing the feed in here as well, and we can choose to pick things out. Now, I'm going to select which workshops I want to share everything off. And the content creation planning and immersion is great. However, I just need to fix the ampersand symbol because it never goes over well in an RSS feed. So you just need to check that out. Hit the save button and that's ready to go. But I'm going to jump in here and just pop in a few more others that we've got throughout this process. So just dropping down the list here, you can see we've got our course creation kickstart. We've got some marketing circle sessions I can pop in. I'm aiming to move people towards 2024 now, but sometimes we go on the last couple of working events that we have in there. Three or four events are as great for us to be able to have in here. You'll see that here we've also, when we go into Clive's strategy tips, we've got a view all button. And that view all button means that they can go directly to Clive or my feed on the articles that are putting out there. So what I will continue doing is I'll continue putting videos in here for Clive. We'll continue his RSS feed. Our books and resources is coming from the feed from the shop and we'll go through here and we'll select those and make sure that we've got the right ones coming through, whatever opportunities we've got to share. 
Then I will make sure that we've got our course creation tips in there. We'll include some courses that are relevant to our newsletter and then we will hit save and schedule and our newsletter will be going out. And that's how you put a newsletter together with MailerLite. <laughs>